Here's a video from a few months ago centred on a prediction made by Carol Vorderman concerning GB News. OK, here's my prediction. <laughs> yeah. I reckon, because GB News, as far as I understand, isn't making any money. Which is true. They're hemorrhaging over £42 million in losses. Now listen to Carol Vorderman's prediction and see if you think it will come true. Uh, and so it, people are shoveling money into it. Mm. When the Tories are decimated at the general election oh, I'm so there for it uh, obviously through stop the Tories stop vote there's a practical uh, application with tactical voting I think we can get them down to 70 seats or less in other words absolutely destroy them together everybody um, and then what's the purpose of GB News mm. it, it has no purpose who's going to carry on shoveling money into it I predict that within 18 months it will close down Carol made that prediction just over three weeks ago. And what with the £42.4 million in losses, it seems as if it could come true sooner than you think. Here's Carol's words regarding similar news for Talk TV. Breaking. Talk TV to close down TV channel and go online only. It looks like right-wing TV is imploding. We've reached the limit of the far-right feeding frenzy. They only have a certain number of potential viewers and they've reached saturation level. Why? Because the vast majority of people in the UK are kinder and more tolerant than the bilge they endlessly pump out. Now, it's been pretty obvious the slow move GB News has made basically towards becoming reform news. I mean, you've got Lee Anderson, Richard Tyson, Nigel Farage making regular appearances and even having their own shows on the channel. Farage, Nigel Paul, Reform UK. 21,225. And look at this appalling promo for the return of Farage to GB News. Believe me, folks, this is just the first step of something that is going to stun all of you. Nigel Farage MP is back on GB News. So GB News now seems to be promoting the agenda of reform, still hoping, I imagine, to tip the scales in favour of right-wing talking points. So I'm not sure if it will close down soon. What do you think? Will it outlast Carol's prediction? Click here to see how much Andrea Jenkins got paid for appearing on GB News.